The reason I purchased this Sony FX30 is because I wanted 4K60 oversampled from 6K60, and that's exactly what this camera does. I also didn't want an external recorder with the HDMI cable hanging off the camera because I think that's just asking to be broken. So I prefer everything recorded internally, and I want, in a situation like this, a flip around screen, and this camera has it, so it works out quite nicely. With that said, let's take a look at the different codecs and bit rates available for recording 4K60 in this camera. So Sony has the XAVC HS 4K, which is their nomenclature for H.265. And in 422 10-bit, you have the option of 200 megabits per second or 100 megabits per second. In 420 10-bit, you get 150, 75, and 45 megabits per second, which is pretty low for 4K60, and that's what I'm recording with right now. And I gotta say, I've already looked at this footage at 45 megabits per second, and it looks really, really nice. Uh, so it's a huge advantage of this camera. Uh, the only sign of macro blocking I noticed was just a tiny, tiny bit in the shadow area, especially in the defocused area right around here. Uh, but this recording is being done at ISO 100, so that's can any noise in the shadows and defocused areas can be minimized anyway. Next up is the XABC S, which is Sony's nomenclature for H.264, and you get 200 megabits at 422 10-bit or 150 megabits at 420 8-bit. Now the third option, you get XAVC SI, which is the uh, intra codec, uh, similar to ProRes. So you don't have to have a reference or B frame that uh, a file is looking at to re rebuild each uh, fifth or 10th frame after the reference frame. Uh, so in simplified terms, that means that this I, SI footage is much easier to process uh, in your video editor, but it does take up a bit more space, or in this case, a lot more space, three times more space, because it's 600 megabits per second, 4 to 2, 10 bit. I was not able to record in this codec just yet because it says when I try to record, you need an SDXC card, which I'm recording in right now, instead of the CF Express Type A, which is higher than V90. And V90 is the video speed class. Now, the kind of odd part is right now, in 2022, October 2022, V90 is the fastest video speed class you can buy for an SDXC card. So in, in other words, what this really means is that you need a CF Express card, and specifically, I see if Express, Express card type A faster than VPG 200, which I will have to go purchase.